hello students so in this presentation we would try to understand the concept of estimation of a ester it is a part of this exercise is a part of your organic practical now the aim as i already mentioned to determine the amount of ester in the given solution principle students principle of any exercise is a most important thing to understand but most of the time most of the students they miss to understand the most important thing because see once you have the manual then someone with the non chemistry background can also perform the exercise but how this experiment or exercise is a conceptualized how it is designed to understand that that is a most important thing so here have a look on this principle one mole of ester undergoes hydrolysis in the presence of one mole of alkali alkali means either noh or koh it produced sodium salt of acid and a mole of alcohol so there is no exaggeration in saying that whole this experiment is a conceptualized on the base of this equation because equation indicates that one mole ester during the hydrolysis consume one mole of noh but let's understand the same sentence in a different way can we say that if one mole of noh is used during the hydrolysis of ester we can say that there is a one mole ester is a present and by applying this logic we would calculate we would estimate the amount of ester in a given solution how we will do that so in this exercise we would add a known quantity known but excess than the requirement than the requirement of the hydrolysis so we would add extra quantity but it is a known of noh into your ester solution so that is a known now after hydrolysis because we have taken a excess so somewhat noh will be there as a unused alkali or noh so that amount of noh we would determine with its titration with the acid it is a base so we would titrate it with the acid so we will also know that how much alkali is unused now we have two informations we know that how much was added and if we know that how much is still left unused so subtraction this difference will tell you that how much noh is used in the hydrolysis and by applying this expression that one mole is used then there should be one mole of ester so that way with the back calculation we can determine the amount of ester let us see the procedure uh, requirements part 1 that is a blank experiment so you have to take 25 ml of the given one normal noh in a 250 ml measuring flask students while you pipe it out one normal noh you should take enough care because if you suck up other than uh, it may cause irritation and dilute now it up to the mark so your one normal 25 ml you dilute it up to 250 ml it means you dilute it 10 times so its new normality will be 0.1 normal from this diluted 0.1 normal noh pipette out 25 ml into conical flask add 3 to 4 drops phenolphthalein as indicator and titrate against 0.1 normal accurate hcl filled in your burette color change would be pink to colorless mind well it is a reverse usually phenolphthalein when you use as an indicator it is a colorless to pink but it is this time here pink to colorless why is it so you have to find at yourself be atmanirbhar let us say this reading is a suppose aml so what is aml your burette reading in your burette you have taken 0.1 normal hcl so we can say that aml 0.1 normal hcl is required actually for the 25 ml diluted noh solution and you can also calculate exact normality of noh by n1 v1 equal to n2 v2 expression let us say that is x normal we will use that calculate uh, concentration into the final calculation so this is the first part 
in which it is called blank experiment you calculate for 25 ml diluted nmol how much hcl is used that is aml second part in a second part you have to take 25 ml ester solution into your flask or otherwise in examination you would be, you would be given by examiner so at that time volume of ester will not be known to you in this ester add 25 ml but one normal nh solution and fit the water or air condenser and heat your reaction mixture on the sand bath till hydrolysis is get completed now question may arise students how would we know that hydrolysis is a completed so roughly it takes 45 to 50 minutes after this time you have to carefully check the reaction mixture you have to smell it carefully there shouldn't be deep inhalation and normally ester you know that having the fruity smell apple juice kind of smell so if that smell disappears then we can say that uh, hydrolysis is get completed but as i said normally it takes 50 minutes sometimes even hour now after hydrolysis get completed now that whole solution you transfer to the measuring flask and dilute up to the mark and from that diluted solution take 25 ml now see in your reaction mixture there is a unused naoh but that is in the form of one normal uh, concentration but as soon as you dilute that one normal would convert into 0.1 normal 10 times it will be diluted from that diluted solution pipette out 25 ml and titrate against 0.1 normal hcl here also colorless color color change would be pink to colorless so let's say let's assume that that reading is bml so we can say that bml 0.1 normal hcl is the required for unused naoh now what was your a a was amount of hcl required for 25 ml how much naoh you added 25 ml so a minus b that is c so a minus b equal to c that would give you how much naoh is used during the hydrolysis of ester now friends remember every time we have pipette out 25 ml diluted solution from the 250 ml so actually we have to multiply it with the 10 to get the exact answer so volume of the naoh required this c into 10 equal to let us say dml now already we knew this expression if you forget again check the principle one mole naoh require for the one mole ester or as i said if one mole of naoh is used it means we can say that one mole of ester should be present on that basis we can write this expression 1000 ml one normal naoh that is 88 g ethyl acetate 88 g is molecular weight of ethyl acetate why we can write because one mole molecular weight is nothing but the weight in gram of one mole of substance so for 1 ml x normal noh x already we have calculated by using this n1 v1 equal to n2 v2 so same normality we will use here so let us calculate it is 88 into x upon 1000 so that is 0.08 into x gram ethyl acetate so after getting this expression our answer is actually dml so how much ester if your answer is a dml and finally you will get your final answer from this friends during your regular batch you can do one thing you can consult your lab in charge and ask him or her that during the preparation of a stock solution original solution of ester how much uh, ethyl acetate is actually <coughs> dissolved i'm sorry so if your she for example if we say that suppose 20 g of ester is a dissolved in a liter solution so how much ester you have pipette out you have taken 25 ml so just simple calculation if a 1000 ml 1 liter having 20 g so 25 ml having how much so theoretically it should be 0.5 g 
and you can compare then after your answer here with this theoretical answer so in most of the this exercise otherwise if uh, <clears throat> done with the, all the precautions then normally students are getting very good answers there are few chances of getting wrong answer in this exercise but in the examination obviously you cannot ask the volume so uh, you can compare your practical uh, answer and your theoretical answer also little bit homework for you why in this experiment as i said early phenolphthalein is used and even though your color change is a reverse pink to colorless you have to find the answer why and uh, one more thing in one procedure whenever we carry out hydrolysis we use the sand bath which kind of other bath are used in a laboratory for heating try to identify that another question phenolphthalein turns pink in acidic medium or basic medium or in other words the same thing can be asked in a different way in which ph range phenolphthalein turns pink so both the questions but their answer is a common so i hope you get the uh, concept of this uh, exercise esteri uh, estimation of esterification in my previous a uh, presentation i told you that actually it is little bit awkward to discuss practical into uh, the online instead of the laboratory but uh, again as i said i am trying to teach you concept and later on if you get the time uh, in this uh, present scenario then easily you can understand this exercise and uh, in a fast way you can perform this exercise thank you